Hello everyone, this is Helen H. and welcome to my channel, Moss Cottage. I hope you all are doing well today. Today is the final Friday in November for the hashtag Cornucopia of Recipes Open Collaboration. This is sponsored by Susan from Susan Hiles Art and Sherry from Turquoise Dreaming. This is a super easy, super fun collaboration. There's no particular project you have to work on. It's just using something related to recipes or food from your stash and then add a thankful themed word, quote, or scripture verse to whatever your projects are for throughout the month. It's not too late to join. You can um, I will have the link to Sherry and Susan's channels below. You can go and look at their channels. They will have a list of all the current participants as well as all the instructions on how to play along. So I have been working on my cookbook that is for the cabin. This was a uh, um, Hallmark cookbook and I decided to modify it so you all saw me do the cover last time um, so I didn't have a word to put on the front so I did find one and I put grateful there it's one of those clear stickers so the turquoise shows through okay I was thinking about using this thanks or give thanks but I thought that's just really too fall-y looking and since this cookbook is for year round I decided to just go with the the word grateful so then I have my little uh, cover page here which also says give thanks here and then you know I've been decorating the um, divider pages uh, that was one week how I put pictures uh, images on all of the divider pages for the the uh, sections of the cookbook and then um, now, what I was doing today, and I started with baked goods because that's the hardest for me to remember. A lot of savory dishes, I can either fudge my way through or I've made them so many times, I know. So I started with baked goods because baked goods is one thing where you really have to be precise with the measurements and everything, and I'm, I'm not always per that precise that I would know. So I just wanted to show you how I put the recipes in the cookbook. This book came with these, um, it came with, let's see if I can show you, these recipe cards, okay, and they're just in a pocket, so there's the front and the back. And that's fine if you want to copy all your recipes. Maybe one day I will, you know, right now I don't have time. So I did a couple different things here, and I'll show you what I did. Um, so this is for the baked goods section. One thing that I make a lot of is a vegan magic chocolate cake, which is absolutely de delicious. Now, it's kind of a longer recipe because it does also have, have um, frosting, uh, frosting recipe, you know, on, behind the cake itself. So what I did was I just wrote, and I wrote in pencil so that I could change these out if I wanted to, magic chocolate cake dash vegan. So I marked the ones that are vegan because if I have to cook for a vegan, then I can quickly pull the recipes, although technically I know, but um, I could pull the recipes. So what I did for this, I went ahead and just Xerox copied my my printer at home has the copy function. I'm sure most of yours do, does. This was from Choose Veg, which is a, a vegan website. And here's my recipe right here. And look, <laughs> okay, here's real life, people. When you make recipes a whole lot, the recipes get gross. Okay, so this was <laughs> this is a Xerox, and look, it's Xeroxed all the stains. I've made this so many times. I made it both as a cake and as cupcakes um, and sometimes I'll put like flavored I'll make a flavored jam from fresh strawberries or something and put that in between or ganache instead of the frosting I'll do all kinds of things but anyway the basic recipe there it is so um, because that's kind of a longer one and I didn't want to write it down I just went ahead and printed it but I know where it is because the card the card itself says you know magic chocolate cake so then other ones, this one was actually in here, this was one by whoever owned this book previous to me and I left it, was um, 
scones to make scones and I made fresh blackberry scones when I was at the cabin last time and I used the Better Homes and Gardens cookbook that was up there that big one with the, the red check um, I have one here and I have one there and I used the scone recipe up there but here's another scone recipe so I have two because they turned out really well then this one right here um, this recipe for my oatmeal peanut butter bars actually came printed uh, or copied on the copier it actually fits if I cut just the recipe it actually fit here and you know my recipes I always make um, uh, uh, additions this had a half cup of corn syrup I crossed that out and put honey um, so on and so forth but um, so this one I just actually was able to cut and fit in there and then these other ones are just the same um, this is my smart cookies recipe I make this one all the time this one was actually I wrote it on front and the back and then this one here I wrote here flatbread and then this is that's all it is right there because there's no yeast in it it's a real quick easy little flatbread if you have soup or something and then on the other side I have my recipe for cobbler and again this one was on the same size card as the recipe card which I think they might be what are they four by six four yeah, four by six, which is the standard size for index cards because somebody else gave me this recipe for cobbler and I've been, look, I've, <laughs> I've been making that one forever because this is a copy and look how gross it is. But anyway, so those are, that is what I did. Um, I just wanted to put some recipes in to show you different ways that you can get the recipes in. But I have a feeling most of them are actually going to be this way where I write on top what it is and the recipe is going to slide behind. Especially for um, main dishes and stuff where there are, you know, maybe lots of herbs and stuff and it starts to get long. You don't want to... Um, you don't want to miss out, you know, some of those things or make a mistake when you're transferring, you know, instead of sugar, you put salt or, you know, disasters like that. So I also worked just a tiny bit on the desserts section. This is just a recipe for old-fashioned uh, apple crisp. Now, I didn't write it on the card because actually the way it folded up, I could see what the title was. And I actually just got finished baking this. It is Thanksgiving morning, and I just got finished uh, making the crumble the apples I had already done I will put it together and bake it at my mom's later on then I've got this chocolate tofu mousse which guys don't before you say ooh if you had this you would not even know that there's silken tofu in there it is so good I've served it to so many people who had no idea that is a really good recipe so these and then here's brown rice pudding these recipes are all small enough that they fit on there okay so that's the way I'm doing that so um, I haven't done any of the other categories, but I didn't in I didn't know how to add a um, I didn't know how to add a Thanksgiving word or something to each separate recipe that I put in. So what I did was instead I went back to the dividers and I put something on the dividers because when I did them I did not put a word on. So on this one I put this little sticker that says count your blessings and then on soups and salad I put this one that says rejoice. Then on the vegetables I put rejoice in him and then um, on the beans I put count your blessings then on pasta and grains I put thankful and then on the baked goods I put joy <laughs> and I picked the round one because it kind of kind of goes with the round cookies look at these guys look 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 aren't they cute Okay, and then on the desserts, I picked So Very Blessed. And on beverages, I put Give Thanks. And then on holiday favorites, I put Rejoice. And then the last one, which was the reference, I put Grateful Blessed. So that's where I added the um, thankful words for the book for this week. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this. This was a super fun collaboration. Thank you, Susan. Thank you, Sherry, for doing this. Um, this is so fun. And after Christmas holidays in January and February, March, early March, when things are kind of yucky, I will be filling this up and then taking it to the cabin when we reopen it. 
we haven't closed it yet this year but we only have a few more days up there so I'll be taking this up in the spring and I'll be so happy to have some of my favorite recipes up there and it's to you guys thanks to you guys that I will have that done so guys I hope you like this video please give me a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed to this channel I ask that you do and until the next video I hope you're all truly blessed bye bye